Greetings Outlanders, Kai Zerker here, and today I'm going to tell you a story of a community under siege. So first off, I'm sure most of you know about r slash place. It was this huge Reddit event that started on April 1st, which was April Fool's Day, and lasted all the way to April 4th. So we've had quite an adventure with the r slash Morrowind community. We had our own Discord. We had coordinated attacks, we had alliances, pretty much anything you could think of happened, right? It was an incredible, incredible event and opportunity to just share a common goal with other people who have the same interests as you. So here is a post made by Reddit user Flackle, and they did an incredible job documenting the whole journey, the whole experience, everything that happened. So they gave me permission to talk about their post and use the references and links contained within it just to share to YouTube exactly what happened. So we started off with a small post on r slash Morrowind talking about, hey, we should basically make you know something to represent our community on r slash place. This is a big deal. We need to have something down there. And so it began. I had a Discord made everything started right and it was quite difficult we had a lot of issues trying to establish ourselves but at first we managed to get a little bit of text that said come Nerevar," and it was glorious we were so happy that we had just something showing morrowind right because you have all these huge things right you have like countries banding together like you have giant german flags giant french flags everywhere right you have like other video games of their star war like star wars stuff all over the place and morrowind is a pretty niche community so we wanted to have a little chunk just a little piece of the pie right and we did we had our little writing that said come Nerevar," and we changed it to be yellow blue like the vec and we started construction on a dagoth urhead so this right here is the original plan for our design. Just simple, come Nerevar, Dagoth Ur, and that was it, right? Nice and simple. Well, things didn't turn out so simple, okay? We ended up getting destroyed by a bot. No, there is a casino bot for CSGO called CSGO 500. And basically, they're a gambling website, and they had bots making a banner above us. It was quite an experience fighting this bot. We had a lot of difficulty, but we made some allies. And several of these groups were, well, Brazil. We actually allied with Brazil, the giant, which is a giant flag right below us. And we had plans to make a Brazilian themed Tegoth or like Morrowind banner, right? And we had other allies as well from a community, Good Pizza, Great Pizza. So this was our proposed and plan design for Dagoth Ur with our Brazilian alliance, right? We were really scared of getting absorbed by them because they were heading northwards, so we thought, okay, we're going to incorporate Brazil into our design, that way we'll be safe. And we got quite far of our design, we were about two-thirds of the way to complete it, with up all the way up to most of the mask, and we were just constantly fighting bots and other people just trying to make a peace in the area. As Flackle says here, right as we're about to snatch victory, the gotcha community attacked. And this is actually, I went to sleep before this happened, okay? So everything was looking good, our mask was nearly done, went to sleep, I wake up, everything was in shambles, right? There's Dragalia Lost right above us, there's Grand Blue right next to us, and apparently this was all due to a miscommunication. So it seems that Genshin, which as you guys know, I'm, I'm a, I make Genshin videos as well, so like... I'm, I understand, right? I'm a gacha gamer too, okay? But apparently it was a miscommunication between the gacha alliance and Morwen because a representative from the gacha games went and talked to a user from True STL, which stands for True Shitty Tesla Lore. We, this is a meme subreddit that just makes memes about Elder Scrolls lore. I'm a part of that subreddit as well because I enjoy the Elder Scrolls memes quite a bit. But essentially, someone reached out to a True STL user, and I don't, we don't know who, we don't know what was said exactly, but there was a miscommunication, and they started. They were angry, and they started taking over our build, and they completely claimed over a lot of our progress and 
then we just had a little bit left, right? Our build was just a little bit of the come there of our text on the right hand side. But we rebuilt. We came back and we actually made allies with those gotcha communities once the miscommunication was cleared up. While our mask was being destroyed, um, Reddit user Zappy made this beautiful design here. So we had the come there of our text, yellow, blue, right? <laughs> Vivek funny colors. And then they made this adorable little Dagoff error. It's, I love it. It's great, right? That's just a little gem of, of that time of struggle. But you know, little, little things, little treasures could still come out of, of suffering, right? Although it did not last, we were able to relocate next to the DH community. So we were able to form an alliance with them as well, and this was the final result of our combined efforts. This was the culmination of everything that we worked for. So as you can see here, gotcha game. We got a Swedish community here, and we have DH. Here's our Degath Ur. Good pizza, great pizza. This was the core alliance that brought this image here to life, right? It was a team effort. We were all helping each other. We were defending each other's borders. It was great. It was a community. And we had allies, we had friends, we had each other. It was amazing, right? So yeah, and something really special came out of it as well. This brilliant image was created showcasing our alliance live from Smellland. I honestly, I apologize if I mispronounced that. I probably did. But yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Here's DH represented. Everything. All of us here. It's, it's beautiful. And everything was brilliant. Everything was going swimmingly until a streamer attacked. This was the dark hours. This was our darkest moment so far. Six hours, over six hours of work to reconstruct our Dagoth Ur mask went up in flames because of this streamer that came and just steamrolled everything, just griefed everything, and just made a monument to their own vanity in its place. They took art and they destroyed it. They crushed it. But once our slash place turned to white pixels only and returned to its blank canvas, we were able to have our revenge. While most art was still intact, we managed to strike out the streamer's face that destroyed all of our hard work. And we were pretty proud of this. I thought this was funny. And that is where we arrive at the end of our tale. Our slash place commenced at zero sum, and everything ended. Everything came to a close. Our slash place began as a blank canvas, and at the very end, it returned to a blank canvas. So here is the final photo of just our art. This is what the Morwind community achieved, not alone, mind you, what we achieved with the help of our allies and friends. But this is, this is it. Dig author. And to conclude, I just want to briefly shout out this YouTube channel, Billy RPG, who helped us tremendously in the process. They made a brilliant video showcasing our efforts in the best way possible. So I'm just going to leave a link in the description below. Please check them out and subscribe if you like their stuff. But yes, that is that is everything. All we are left with is the memories and the friends we made along the way, as cheesy and overused as that meme is. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini brief history of everything that transpired, everything that occurred, and I hope you enjoyed it. That is it for today. Kai Zerker out. Peace and booyah.